Hey everyone, it's Garam, and of course I am ignoring reality. I got a new program for you guys today, and I'm going to show you how to use it. So, the big thing for me, carpal tunnel. Pain relief is finally here for me with this program. So, um, well, I guess you could use it if you just wanted to like lay on the couch and uh, use a control instead of a keyboard. It's good for that, too. Um... So this is called Controller Companion, and you can get it through Steam. Now, some of you guys don't know what Steam is. It's a free program, and it acts as like a distributor for uh, digital copies of most games. It is a very popular social networking site, um, pretty much just for gamers, though. The greatest thing about Steam is it uh, has discounted games. They post sales very often, and you can usually find something worthy of a good marathon gaming session for pretty cheap. Another comparable app to Controller Companion is um, I know I have, but there is a problem when you upgrade to Windows 10. Uh, the older versions of XPowder don't work quite as well and uh, some just don't work at all. If you go back to the site it will cost you $9.99. There's also another one called uh, Joy to Key. It's usable it's not bad uh, but in my mind everything trails behind this this program lets you do everything you guys are going to need to do any kind of gaming on your computer with an xbox one or xbox 360 control this is only three dollars you can get it right from the Steam store, like I said. And again, Steam is a free program. Now, if you guys don't have Steam installed, you will have to install it to get this program. But that's a really easy process in getting this. Okay, so once you guys get the controller companion, you can access it down here from the Show Hidden Icons panel. And it's right here in the controller companion app. It is what I'm using right now. Uh, the left joystick on my Xbox One controller controls the mouse. The right controls the scroll up and down. The mouse will... Okay, as you guys see here, you can set this up to auto-launch on startup. You know, or not. And you can create uh, custom key bindings right here in Profiles. All you need to do is go to Edit Bindings, and this will show you what everything does right now when no processes are running like a game. And uh, this is what every button is bound to right now. So if you guys want to rekey any button on your Xbox One controller for just the desktop use or surfing the internet, go to Edit Bindings right here. And this will show what every button does on your Xbox One controller or Xbox 360. And change them all right here. Um, y is set up as space, but if I wanted to change it, I could make... Y do left mouse button or do any single key on the keyboard or you can even you know play pause media media stop volume up volume down show your virtual keyboard shut your controller off it's you can pretty much key anything to do whatever you want Okay, after that you have the process bindings, and this is the customized key bindings for any particular application that you might run, like a game. Here I have the key bindings for the Diablo 3 game and Darkest Dungeon. I've been into both of these pretty heavy lately. So, I can go to Diablo 3 and edit, and from here you can see what every button does in the Diablo 3 game from my controller. And again, if you want to change any one of these, same process as before. You can keybind this to make any button do pretty much anything you can do with your mouse and keyboard. Finish what you're doing, apply OK. If you exit Diablo 3, this program will automatically reset and launch your desktop edit bindings again. So in Diablo 3, I have the right bumper set to left mouse click, and it's comfortable when you're in the game but out here left mouse click on the right bumper probably not quite as comfortable so 
I have it set up differently here on just the desktop key bindings. So upon exiting Diablo 3, it will automatically reset to desktop key bindings. From there, I could launch Darkest Dungeon, and it will automatically load in these. So if you want to add any key binds, you can create your own, pretty much by doing exactly what I've already shown you, or you can go to the Steam app. So all you got to do is go to Steam, select it. So once you select it, Steam will automatically come up in the little window here, like that. And uh, you want to find key bindings for any particular game you want. Cursor over library software. And here you will find the browse the workshop. Go ahead and hit that and it'll bring you here. Search the workshop. So here you have search controller companion. Go ahead and go to there. And I'm going to activate the virtual keyboard here on controller companion. So here I can type while just laying on the couch. Uh, let's go ahead and look. F All right, here I'm going to bring up the virtual keyboard, which is another function of the controller companion. And let's look for Minecraft. That is amazingly popular. A R A F and T and search. Okay, here is all the Minecraft custom keybinds that other users have done. Um, if you ever keybind a game that you really like and feel very comfortable with, you can upload your own key bindings to this page and uh, you'll be able to share it with other people just like these people here are doing with us. So here you can find the one you want. So like this one, go to the little plus sign and hit it. What that's going to do is automatically start downloading it. Okay, one of one items complete downloading. So then you can go back down here to your controller companion, open settings, profiles, and there it is. So now we got Minecraft. But, you know, for whatever reason, say, hey, I don't want it anymore. So unsubscribe and it will go away. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. And I'll be coming with another program tutorial soon. Thanks.